are you still buying? Because I think you might be. <laughs> you know what? The thing is, is that once you get started, if you're doing this plan of 1031 exchanges, you actually have to keep going. Mm -hmm. And that's what's exciting about it. You can stop, of course, but the opportunities are just always so prevalent and you start it's it's kind of addicting actually and it's a lot of fun you know as well as i do in the real estate space especially when we're raising capital we have to be very transparent yes um, we have to let our investors know every move that we're making and i because of not being transparent and for the movement of money i i wound up being charged on wire fraud and mail fraud charges oh and I got sentenced to 10 years in federal prison. Oh, wow. This is so important for our audience to hear because there are so many people jumping into syndications who who aren't doing it properly. You don't want to get trapped like people did after 2008 and just worry about a recession. And we had the longest economic and job expansion ever recorded in history. And now we have this unbelievable back, backdrop. And we're the United States of America. We're the really only superpower because we have better demographics. Millennials and Gen Z together combined are bigger than the total population of Japan. Other countries wish they had our replacement workers and replacement consumers. They don't. We got it. Well, kids, y'all heard that. You just keep getting busy out there. <laughs> yeah. Flip that switch and say, I could spend this money now. I could go buy that fancy car, or take that amazing vacation, or I could take that money and invest it in the cash flow generated from the asset I just bought will buy me that car or send me on that vacation. I think a real flex is being able to buy those things with passive income, not earned income. It's easy to make a bunch of money playing football, go buy something luxurious. Instead, I'm gonna make money playing football, invest in something that's generating me cash flow in some type of way, and then use that to go buy something luxurious. And you know, I think that's the, that's the real flex, and getting people to flip that mindset and flip that switch is, is really important.